a very good morning to the lovely ladies out there from Woman TV. We have a very interesting and super inspirational woman on our show today, and she is a proud mum premier and has a very interesting journey to share with us. She is Shabnam Astana. Shabnam is an exceptionally successful PR professional, and during this amazing journey of 22 long years, while building brands, she has become a brand herself. Shabnam is a global brand and now has been included in Wikipedia for her independent page and also has a verified official Facebook account. Shabnam is published author of a popular book named as Romancing Your Career. Interesting, isn't it? So we're going to talk more on this. Sure. She has several national and international awards to her credit and the recent one is Mahatma Gandhi Sanman in British Parliament this year, which is the House of Commons in London. Wow. And this was for her amazing and extraordinary contribution in international PR. Hi, Shabnam. Welcome on our show. Thank you, Shweta, for having me here and inviting me. It's an absolute pleasure to be here. Oh, most welcome. And this is absolutely amazing. I mean, the kind of field you're in. How did this really begin for you? Well, I won't start with the cliche of saying that I happened to bump into this by accident. It is more a choice. I mean, it's a willing choice and I'm proud that I made this choice because I always had this inclination towards interacting with people, meeting people and I call myself a people's person. So it was something which made me very happy to embark on this journey and also to, you know, do things which I love doing. So PR is for me a very inspirational field for any woman, I would say. Why only me? PR in general was a little misunderstood when I took it over. People were like, well, is it personal relations? Is it public relations? What exactly is public, public relations? Yes. You know, so there was a whole lot of uh, the mental blocks that were there where we had to address those mental blocks and tell them, look, it is public relations, but it doesn't, it's nothing which uh, in you know sort of makes the woman uh, go in the public and do something which is unethical because that was something which was a little you know eyebrows were lifted at that time okay. so a great many years of working towards that uh, feeling and now I'm so happy to see Shweta that there are many women in this profession yes we do see these. so it has become uh, I would say if not a 50-50 at least a large number of women are there in this profession and they are respected for that and they love doing what they are doing. Great. So it's an interesting profession. I would agree with that. Yes. And Chabna, we would love to know from you what exactly it takes to be a people's person, a PR person. Well, uh, it's like any other profession. You have to have a good, healthy interaction with your client. And it is something which is based on a lot of skills which are required. I would rate soft skills as a very high okay. skill here. So you require a lot of soft skills. You have to be a person who is working 24-7, like many professions, but here more so. Because you cannot say, well, I'm not working as of now. You know, So if somebody calls you with a story, with a pitch, with an idea for an event, you have to be available. And the most important thing is to be accessible. So you can't sort of keep delegating to people and be the big boss. The big boss has always to be there for anybody, irrespective of whether it's a large corporation, it's an individual. Personal attention is required in whatever you do. For that bonding with the client? Of course, yes. Wow. And it doesn't mean that I don't delegate. Of course we delegate. But then we are there when the client wants us. Mm -hmm. We are there for that phone call or that uh, bit of uh, communication which he wants, he or she wants with us. So that is something which is required to be accessible, to be well networked, to be uh, you know a soft skills person, to have leadership qualities and to also have that eye for crisis management because in PR you have a lot of crisis management which takes place. So you have last minute adjustments to be made, last minute uh, you know uh, print media to be addressed. Yeah. So crisis communication. And something like expecting the unexpected. Yes, of course. That's that's always there. So you do, and then you come up with something which the client doesn't expect you to do and is very satisfied at the end of the day that you thought of doing that special something for them. 
so that is cool. something absolutely well explained and shamnim do you think that this is a smart career choice for women these days most certainly yes so all the women who are watching us today i would say that this is a very smart career choice it allows you a lot of flexibility it allows you if you if you love interacting with people and you know doing various activities on your own this gives you a lot of leverage to balance your skills and do a whole lot of things which are now finally gaining acceptability people do recognize pr as a very good profession for women and you are being accepted for your job as a pr person so yes most certainly shweta it is an excellent career choice great so, to know that yes. and are there any challenges as such you faced like i mentioned to you earlier when i started on this profession when i embarked on it people were very confused what is pr what is is it a personal relation very uh, you know it was rather funny or is it and what exactly is public public you know i mean does the person just go and start addressing uh, the public it's not you know you have to tell people that this is what it is so pr as a profession has moved beyond uh, just media it has moved to image building yes. it has Branding. moved yes branding it has moved to a lot of communication so communication every company needs good communication so pr is more of a communication role where we step in and we talk to the brands we tell them what is needed and a percentage of it is media related so it's not biased completely towards the media but yes it's an integral and a very essential part, part of pr of, of course okay. yes how interesting isn't it mm. and coming towards the end shabna we would love to have that inspiring message from you for all the women watching you yes i would uh, like to definitely tell all the women watching me that don't expect things to happen because you are a woman and don't blame it on people if things don't happen because you are a woman success is not gender specific success doesn't read genders it is your own self drive your uh, you know a will to achieve what you want your belief in yourself which makes you go out and do what you do in your own specific way in your own certain way which brings you success so have this confidence have the self drive look towards things in a positive way most importantly i'd like to add another thing we expect applause we expect praise so learn to give applause and learn to give what you would want others to give to you so applauding and being applauded is the need of the hour that's what i would say in right. short yes what an empowering message isn't it so that was shabnam astana with us stay tuned for more powerful stories thank you from oman tv thank you